Hello and welcome to Enterclimate. My name is Shalin and in today's video we will understand the importance of 6 monthly compliance reporting that is mandatory as a part of the environmental clearance conditions under the EIA notifications 2006. As per the notification the proponent must submit a compliance report regarding their stipulated EC conditions to the regional offices or the state pollution control boards concerned on the 1st of June and 1st of December each year. fulfilling these ec conditions is crucial in maintaining the validity of the ec let's first understand how the conditions of the ec post compliances are set the expert appraisal committee or eac considers the standard ec conditions during the appraisal stage there the ec can modify delete and add conditions on project specific requirement The recommended conditions by the EAC will be brought in the minutes of the meeting for deliberation. The post compliance starts immediately after the EC is granted. So, the implementation of the conditions must start as soon as the proponent is provided with the conditions of the EC. These half yearly reports must be submitted by the proponent throughout the validity of the clearance. Now, the proponent's declaration is monitored by the regional offices of the MOEF. In the event of non-submission of the 6 monthly compliance reports, the MOEF could take actions as it deems fit under the provisions of the Environment Protection Act of 1986. if the proponent faces unavoidable conditions or challenges in fulfilling the compliance such conditions and the present status of the compliances must be indicated let's now understand how this report is prepared and how it is submitted so after mentioning the status of their conditions and attaching relevant supporting documents the project proponent can upload the ec conditions on the parivesh portal The proponent has to fill out the form for uploading the 6 monthly compliance report on the portal after generating their ID and password and then submitting the report. The proponent can also click on the add button provided on the profile page to add any prior accorded EC conditions if they are not already available. The proponent can also give the details of the amended EC if that is the case and upload the ec conditions in provided format either by means of an excel sheet or manually after saving the details the proponent can finally upload the 6 monthly compliance report and ekyc also needs to be done by the proponent before uploading the self compliance proponent can upload supporting documents that contains information related to the self declaration the documents needed at this stage will include the details of the production and project area the date of commencement of the project or activity project area as per the ec granted in case of mine leases actual project area production capacity the last site visit report and the last site visits date the proponent will now need to upload the self declaration against each and every ec condition before submission the proponent can also verify their ec compliance report Let's now talk about another important aspect of the compliance which is the compliance monitoring. The monitoring cell of the MOEF is responsible for the supervision and coordination of all the functions assigned to the ROs. MOEF resolution of January 2014 regarding the mandate of ROs for environmental management and pollution control functions perform tasks such as implementing conditions and safeguards laid down by the project when the environmental clearance was given and analyze the 6 monthly progress reports this is required to maintain liaison and link the state government and other stakeholders now what happens in case the proponent violates the compliance or does not submit the compliance report in such cases punitive actions can be taken by the MOEF or the CIA as per the environment protection act of 1986 for the breach of the environmental clearance conditions the moef also has the power to direct the closure of the project prohibit or regulate the industry operations or process and stop or regulate supply of electricity water or any other service so as a proponent you need to understand that 6 monthly compliance reporting is mandatory for new projects as well as when amended ec is granted This means 6 monthly compliance reporting will be required in case of modernization or expansion of existing projects that have been notified under the EIA notifications of 2006. Therefore, the project proponent must ensure that the environmental mitigation measures described in the EC compliance and environmental management plans are being implemented without fail during the construction and operation phase. 
This requires due diligence from the end of the proponent as well, plus the assistance of environmental experts. The agency conducting EIA must be fully conscious of environmental management and must have experience in handling any crisis situations. We at Enderclimate have NABIT qualified network of environmental consultants and licensing experts that can assist you with all your EC compliance related obligations and assist you in the preparation of your report. So contact us from the details provided for any queries that you may have related to EC, EIA or in case you require any assistance in reporting or the preparation of half yearly compliance report. So that was all for today's video. Thank you for watching.